Hi guys and welcome to my first video on this channel. New year, new channel and definitely new outfits. My name's Beth and yeah, welcome to my channel. If you want to follow the journey, don't forget to click, click subscribe. And if you like this video, please smash a huge thumbs up because it would mean a lot to me. This video, as you can tell by the title, is a huge, 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 huge. It's not that big. I say huge because it's probably like the biggest amount of spent per little thing in one go, but a huge PLT haul. I've got one, three bags and the first one I showed you was come a little bit ripped so I hope fingers crossed everything is still in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sit here and talk through all the clothes and I'm also going to pop up on the side of me here, either here or here, <laughs> um, try on clips. I have tried to make outfits out of different pieces so you know you can kind of get a gist of what I'm going to put them with. So the first thing I bought was this stone knitted play suit which has this lovely collar, no pockets, no buttons but it's really stretchy, oversized and I love the colour on it, I think it's so nice. I would actually pair this with like tights boots, a long coat. So in the trying haul I have put on some pretty little thing boots that I bought months ago and a pretty little thing trench coat that I bought months ago as well which still has the label in it but we move. Do you know those um, tights that everybody's been wearing like towards the end of 2021 where they've got patterns on or like dots or hearts or something. I think that would look really nice with a pair of those. I think I'm going to keep this one. Love it. To be fair, the material isn't the softest, but I have quite sensitive skin and I don't think that it's that itchy, but a lot of people would. The next items that I tried on were these brown tailored pocket trousers. They have pockets towards the end and pockets at the back but they don't have side pockets which ugh, who and I get oh who buys trousers without side pockets it's just so annoying but I love these. They did fall a little bit long on me but I did pair them with a pair of boots that I bought for this haul so I'll show you those next. I find with PLT their play suits and trousers do come long which is so annoying. I thought they would look so nice with boots and then like a nice thin jumper. I'll show you the boots in a minute but this is the jumper that I decided to pair with it. This is really strange because obviously you can get like different colour stone. I understand that. I'm not stupid but this top also says that it's well, the jumper also says that it's stone. And as you can tell, it's like a completely different colour to the play suit. This jumper has a little bra like that's attached to the inside of the top. And then you tie it as a halter neck. You see what it looks like on me when I insert the clip. And to be honest, I don't have a massive bust area. But I bought this in a size medium. And I find because it's got the stitching that goes across the bottom, it cuts into half your boob. It doesn't actually do anything for your boobs. So if you were to wear a bra, I think you'd tell. And if you didn't wear a bra, I don't know, I'm just fussy with stuff like that. I don't like the seams, you know, like cutting halfway through your boob. And then, but it didn't, as much as I was trying to adjust, you'll see in the videos, as much as I was trying to adjust, it just wasn't sitting right. And it's a shame because it's such nice quality. And it's quite thick that you wouldn't have to wear anything underneath. I also like the back of it. The fact that it's not an actual seam. It's just been sewn so it doesn't fray. It's quite raw on the edge. But yeah, how cute is that? I'm quite gutted about that because I think if I bought a large, it'd be too big. And, you know, it's quite stretchy. Well, these are the boots that I don't think you're ready for. I've been wanting to buy a pair of brown boots for months. Oh, a little sneak peek. Um, and I thought, you know, just take the risk because I am fussy with boots, mega, mega fussy. So I bought these and I do feel that they, they run a little bit big. I did buy size five, which I am. And obviously there's room that I can put like thick socks underneath. How nice are they? Oh my gosh. I'm obsessed with chunky boots. So I put these on with a few of the outfits because... I mean, I want to wear them until I die. Can you hear my dog back in? They're croc print. Oh, oh, 
I just love it. I need some crop print. I love them. I don't think I'm going to send those back. Next, I bought a pair of acid washed blue rip jeans. Do I have a pair of acid wash? I do, but not this major acid wash. These are really nice jeans. They are boyfriend jeans. So they've got a rip here and then two rips on this leg and that's it. I bought these in a size 12 and they do fit really nicely. The only thing that I don't like because ugh, I'm just lazy is that it has buttons and not a zip. Ugh, that's so much stress. I sweat so much trying to put those up. Like, oh, I love the jeans but I'm just not here for the buttons. I paired those jeans with a basic white tee because the look that I wanted to go for, I didn't actually put it together. But this is just a basic white tee, size 10 literally it's not even a tee it's a long sleeve tee but it did come a little bit see-through i wore a grey bra underneath sports bra thing but that's fine because i was thinking about pairing it with old school black and white vans and then a black blazer or a black nice coat and then i don't think you're ready for this bag everyone <gasps> how cute how freaking cute is this i want to wear it every day Oh my gosh, I'm just in love. I love this as well. I bought a pair of flared black ribbed trousers and they were on the bottom and I thought that's a nice touch, you know. It makes it look a little bit more expensive. This bag is just a suede black bag with white bulk edges. That's definitely staying in my wardrobe. Okay, so I saw this top and they'd done it in a few colours and it was in the Molly May. No, Molly May now has a section. They have this top in a fair few colours and I just love green in any shade yeah pretty much how nice is this it's not something i would usually go for but i i love the color and i just thought this with a nice pair of black trousers heels or something it'd be so nice to go out for dinner or to a party doesn't have any um zips or anything it's quite stretchy and the straps are adjustable which woohoo we love we're here for it got it in a size 10 um, I felt like I had enough room for everything to, you know, sit in its assigned seat. I bought this as just because I liked it. So I had to pair it with another pair of jeans that I could probably pair with, but I wouldn't. And it is these stone colour boyfriend jeans. Which have a fair few rips in them. Love them. I'm not sure about the ends, but I was thinking of wearing these jeans with boots so the ends wouldn't look too bad. And I also bought these in a size 12. The problem being, yeah, I did buy them in a 12. These ran quite big on me compared to the other ones. The other ones kind of like fit in my waist a little bit more. But I don't mind. I'm, I love the, the look of baggy jeans. I think it gives you more of um, a cinched look sometimes. I think like it, it makes you look a little bit skinnier. <sighs> Is that bad? Oh well. I don't have a pair of, a pair of jeans in this colour. And it's risky because I drop everything down me. I bought this little quad because I thought I loved the blazer. It's a blazer and skirt quad. I love the blazer and I thought I'm going to try it with a skirt. I never really wear matching. Do I? No, never really. I'm not a really big fan of this skirt. It's got this like ruched look. I bought this in a size 12. It's kind of like a woven material. It's a lovely colour and... I put the skirt on first, I'm not going to lie, and I thought um, I probably wouldn't wear this skirt on its own, if I'm honest. But then I put just this blazer over the top, which is exactly the same colour, exactly the same material. It's got fake pockets, I hate that. <laughs> I'm literally just a pocket person. It's got a little bit of shoulder padding in, but I bought the blazer in a size 14, and when you see the try-on clip, it doesn't actually look that oversized on me which is a shame because every time i buy blazers from pretty little thing i always size up even if they're oversized and i just can't find a blazer i like from that i was aiming for get a bigger size and i can tie it like do it up and wear it as a dress but i wouldn't be able to get away with that with this i also paired this with the brown boots Ugh, obviously i fell in love with this i like love the accessories on pretty little thing I bought this hat. I mean, I wish you could feel, oh, you can see just how soft it is. I think they do this in a few colours. 
I think hats look so ridiculous on me, but I'm trying them out. <laughs> oh my god, how cute. It's just so nice. And do you know with that blazer and skirt combination with the boots, I feel like a bass ass beach. So next I picked up this green brownie mesh cord. This is the top, crop top, bought in a size 12. It's tiny. I love this like detail on the shoulder as well. I put it on with a bra on underneath, but uh, without a bra on underneath, and I couldn't get my babies in there, so I had to like scoop, and one was still, you know, hanging out. So I have kind of got it on. Well, I have got it on in the try-on video just to show you what it looks like, and it's a real shame because it's tighter on the around my armpits as well, like around my shoulders, and. If I'm honest, I wouldn't want to size that. I just think the top is too short. Like, it literally just comes beneath the bazoomers, which is a real shame because the skirt is so nice on. It's got this little frilly edge at the bottom and one of those tie cords so you can ruch it up and have a little... Oh, see, that looks so nice. I bought the skirt in a size 12 too. I might keep the skirt. How... How nice would that look with the blazer? Oh, don't get me started. So I paired this with the boots as well because I love wearing heels, but every time I try and buy a new pair of heels, something always goes wrong, which leads me to my next item. I bought these heels. How nice are these? A little toe, you know, not too high, square. Love it, nice. I need some new black heels. Well, I did try and buy these way before Christmas and have an email to say that they were out of stock, so I was I was a little bit gutted um, because it takes me forever to choose a nice pair of heels. And then I bought them for this haul because they were in stock. And I got it out of the box. The other one, the actual clasp was broken because they're plastic. So I'm gutted about that. I'm going to have to try again. Maybe it's just not meant to be. I saw this on the website and I thought, oh, everyone's been wearing these. And I'm just, um, I don't know if I'm I do like it, but would it look good on me? It's another quad in this pistachio green colour. You know those skirts that have like quite a high slit? It's one of those. And then this top is exactly the same colour. And it twists to the front with big sleeves. I love, I'm always here for this colour, for a good pistachio green. You can't really see it on camera, that's weird. Compared to this, pistachio green. So I put the heels on with this. I love this outfit. But I did get the top in a 10 and I feel like I could have got it in a 12 just so there was a bit more room around my bust area. And I got the skirt in a size 12. I'm in two minds of whether to keep this and then buy the top in a, the next size up. But I'm also scared that it'll be too big. Risky for a chocolate biscuit. As this haul was going so well, everything fitted quite nicely except for, you know, a couple of tops. I bought this leopard, leopard print dress. I am always here for a leopard print time. This dress... I bought in a size 10, first mistake, uh -uh. it's silky, but it's quite thin, like, I don't know, I could, it feels kind of like a night day. So it's got flared sleeves, it's got a ruched skirt, and then it like crisscrosses at the front. I'm going to insert a picture anyway, so it's easier for you to see on model, but I couldn't get it over my bum. That cancelled that out. I also bought this hat that I haven't tried on, so I'm going to try it on for you now. How cute is this? I love purple. Purple's one of my favourite colours along with pistachio, as you can tell. So, they have this in like so many different colours. Like I said, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not much of a hat person, but I think that's so nice. The contrast of the purple and the black and the white. But yeah, I think I'm going to keep that. Okay, remember when I said like, I don't wear matching? It's all a load of lies because I... Ah! Uh? I'm not okay with that. Let me check my order. Why does it not say what size they are? I'm not happy. Right, okay, so I actually forgot to try these on before the video because they were hiding under the bag. But it's this quad. Suppose they don't look too big. It's these grey palazzo trousers in a pleated material. Um, but I've just looked at the label and they sent me a size 16. It's on the bag, it says 16 as well, but, you know, I'm not a size 16. So we'll try those on and you'll see in the clip whether I like them. The top is this shape. So it's a crop top, again, in the same colour, same material. I bought the top in a size 10, 
when I was like 16. I just love the fact that you can either dress this up or dress this down. I think like how nice does this look with trainers? And then again, how nice would it look with boots? How nice would it look with heels? Like booted heels. Oh, but yeah, again, I haven't tried this on, so I will try it on. I'm not very pleased about the trousers coming as a size 16, but um, mistakes happen. And it probably was my mistake. I probably did buy them in a size 16. That is a wrap. I am very pleased with my New Year, New Me outfits. New Me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I wish you could see the mess around me as well. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video, my first one, and I will be bringing videos out every Sunday. I hope that you enjoyed, and if you do, stick around, and I'll see you next week.